We are back at it again. What is up, family? I hope all is well. Today, you're going to learn some very powerful mindset shifts that you can tap into to overcome any single obstacle that comes your way. I mean, any obstacle. These powerful mindset shifts, if you begin to really practice these and implement them into your life, it'll become much easier for you to move ahead in life with intent, with power, knowing that you can overcome whatever obstacle comes your way. Now, we're going to go over some mindset shifts, like I said, and they're not going to be something that you can listen to one time and everything just changes. These are things that you're going to have to continue to consume and practice and write down and speak affirmations into and begin to integrate it into your life. But if you stay tuned, you will feel empowered knowing that you can move forward and do anything that you want in life and overcome whatever obstacles come your way. Now, if you're new to this channel and you're looking for more ways to create the life of your dreams and discover your greatness, then make sure you subscribe and hit the bell to be notified once I post a new video every single week. Now, what are some powerful mindset shifts that you and I can adopt in order to overcome any obstacle? Every single lesson brings me joy and gratitude. This is a mindset that you can tap into knowing that obstacles are going to come and realizing that there is a lesson behind every single obstacle. The issue is when we allow those obstacles to stall us, right? When something gets in our way, like, a, you know, something happens at work, a boss yells at you, you know, maybe somebody gets sick on your team and you have to do something all on your own. Things that we cannot control happens is it's life. It's, it's, it's something that we all signed up for when we came in. But you and I, understanding the lesson behind it, we could begin to take steps forward, learn from failures and continue to move forward. And this is something that some we often don't even recognize until we look back at our progress, how much we move forward. Because if we're so busy dealing with loss, if we're so busy with dealing with obstacles and we allow it to stall us, it can feel like we're not moving forward. I think one of the best advice that I've gotten is to not make the same mistake twice. If we can continue to be a student in life and learn from the obstacles that come our way, it makes it a lot easier to not make that same mistake twice. So that's the first thing. Understand that there's a lesson and be grateful for that lesson when it comes. The second mindset that we can tap into to understand that my vision is much greater than this current challenge, than this current obstacle. My vision is much greater than this current challenge and this current obstacles. When we recognize that our vision is bright, that our vision is beautiful, when we look into the future of the life that we want to live and we connect with that vision and we're excited about that vision, that vision brings us joy. The more we connect with that vision, the more we can see <laughs> that the obstacles that we run into on the way to that vision, they start to lose its power. What do I mean by that? We could think of a movie. Think of your favorite movie. Now, the first time you watched that movie, you were so deep into the emotions of the movie. Maybe it's a thriller and there's so much suspense. And you're sitting at the edge of your seat, waiting to see what's gonna happen next. That's what movies are for. They bring us deeply into the role. And that happens in life, right? There's problems that show up and we don't know how to navigate it. We focus so solely on that the problem that we zero in on it and don't see the bigger picture. And that's what happens in movies. We're so deeply attached to it emotionally that we can't see the bigger picture. We don't see how it's going to play out. But then the ending comes and we see what happens to the hero in the story. They get the girl. They get the job, they save the world. You know, we see what happens and then that tension relaxes. Now, when we practice visualization and we practice tapping into that ultimate vision of ours, we see the end of our movie. And when we connect with that end of the movie so much, we can always tap back into it when times feel difficult, when times feel hard. 
So when we're faced with an obstacle, when we're faced with a challenge that seems like there's no way of getting out, the more connected we are to that ultimate vision, the less power that we actually give to this current obstacle because we know where we're going to end up. Now, this takes trust and this takes belief that we are indeed moving towards our vision. But the more we can feel it and know it to be true, I mean, really feel the emotions of it within, the more we can believe that that vision is true for us and the more we can believe that that vision is where we are heading. So it takes practice and it takes consistency in connecting with that vision. But like I said, the more we do it, the less power that we have to give those obstacles in front of us. Because like I said, we know how the movie is going to turn out. We know how the hero is going to get past this current villain. We know what's going to happen. Now, we might not know exactly how it looks, but when we have that faith and we have that trust and we have that mindset, then we are more empowered to continue to move forward. We know how the story is going to end. And that's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful film. The final point, I am fully equipped to handle any obstacle that comes my way. We are never, ever given an opportunity that we cannot handle. Feel empowered in knowing that. And when I say we're not given an opportunity that we can't handle, I'm not really talking from an ego's perspective. I'm more so talking from a universal perspective. Me, Shalani Jenkins, can't handle every single obstacle. But when I tap into the divine power, when I tap into the God energy that exists all around us, and I allow the infinite resources to help me out, and I'm open to accepting and receiving it, then there really is no obstacle in the way. If I try to do it all on my own, <laughs> I can't. None of us can. And that's the beauty of it. We have, there's an infinite amount of resources around us. And the more we can establish in our mindset that we have all of the tools necessary to accomplish what we want, the, the more empowered we feel to move on it and the more um, synchronicities that we'll start to experience in our life. The more joy we'll start to experience in our life as we continue to set goals and attain those goals. I wanna share a quick story with you. A couple of months ago around Father's Day was when the Black Lives Matter movements and the protests were all happening and I'm sitting on a board and the board is the Crenshaw YMCA out here in Los Angeles. And to make a long story short, we wanted to find out different ways that we can um, contribute to the protests that are happening. And I gave an idea that I thought we should have our own youth led protests at the YMCA. And I thought it would be a powerful, powerful thing. Only issue is I've never done anything like this. I've never ran my own protest. I've never organized anything like it. So I was a little bit nervous as I was speaking it out. So. The next day after the meeting, nothing really happened from it, but the executive director had contacted me and had some questions, some unanswered questions that were happening in regards to the protest, questions that I didn't even really have the answer for. And I started to feel a little bit insecure in that initial idea. And a large part of me wanted to retract what I was saying and go in a different direction, maybe an easier direction, maybe just have like a virtual program because I didn't know how it would turn out. My, my ego didn't believe that I had the resources capable of pulling it off, but I meditated on it and I thought about it and I really got centered in understanding what it is that I want to come out of the experience. And what ended up happening was I made some strict dates. In 10 days, I said, I want to have, I think we should have a protest at the YMCA. I think it should be youth led. I started naming details that no, I didn't know how I was going to make happen, but I was exact and I put the date down and I told the whole board exactly what I wanted to do. That very next day, another board member contacted me and said she knows a group who had just ran a youth led protest about 45 minutes away. And it was so successful that they were actually looking for their next um, venue and their next spot to run their second protest. And they were planning on having it 
on the exact same day that I proposed, which was the day before Father's Day. And so long story short, every single day from that point on, more pieces to the puzzle started connecting. More fantastic partnerships started coming out of nowhere. More people who were looking for the exact same opportunity started coming and it became an event that was inspired and created with a lot of people working into it. The moral of the story and what I'm trying to explain to you is that there are an infinite number of resources when we get out of our way and we accept the power that exists with, uh, within us and all around us, we're able to accomplish so, so much more. And the synchronicities and the companionships and the partnerships and everything that we need to create our desired result, to attain our ultimate vision, to attain our goals that we set for ourselves, we are able to accomplish. But we had to just tap into that infinite source of resources and we do that by accepting, getting out of our own way. And again, that's a lot easier said than done. But the more we practice it, the more we tap into this meditative meditative states and meditation and mindfulness, the more we can really tap into what it is that's blocking us from doing these things. So these are three powerful mindsets that you can adopt. And like I said earlier on, it's not something that you can just write down once and truly adopt into your life. It's something that you have to continue to consume. You and I both have to continue to consume these mindsets by writing it down, speaking it out loud, maybe recording it and listening into it, listening to it on our headphones, you know, maybe doing something visually where we can see it, where we put the paper up on the wall. How many different ways can we consume these mindsets so that it can really become a part of our life internally, externally, and truly um, empower us to move forward, to overcome anything that comes our way. And so y'all, with that being said, you hear me speak about this a lot, but mindfulness and meditation are two of the most important things that have helped me out in my life, truly. And in order for us to really tap into those blockages that exist within us so that we can overcome obstacles and discover our greatness, create the life of our dreams, we have to be able to train our awareness. So what I've done is I've created a Finding Your Zen meditation guide that you can find in the description below. It's free to use and all you have to do is download the link and you'll have a free guide to begin to train your awareness, to begin to tap into your inner love, your self love with this meditation guide. You'll find that again in the link in the description below. And with that being said, family, thank you for watching. If you're still looking for more ways to support, like I said, subscribe, hit that like button, and I will talk to you all next week. Peace.